Howdy everybody. Welcome back. I wanted to make a video last night, but I kind of got wound up with stuff outside, so <clears throat> really what's going on here is that I've, I've got a uh, got a situation going on right now with my truck, and my garage is big enough for both my truck and my car. But because of the issue with my truck, it's looking like I'm going to wind up with a new truck here pretty quickly. And the one that I'm wanting to get is going to be a bit bigger, so I had to spend all day yesterday uh, rearranging things in my garage. And yesterday was just kind of a hectic day, man. I had to do that, and then I also had to wash the car and do some laundry and other things around the house. And by the time it was evening, I, I was just too pooped to really make another video. <clears throat> but I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I figured I'd try to get one out. So... We are trying to, let me jog my memory here. So we've got the the plants and stuff going, crops. Because I'm in a little bit of a bind with food. Not only for my colonists, but especially for whatever livestock I even have left. Which, by the way, I might, I might be screwed. Well, no, I've still got the donkey guy. And we're finally beginning to grow some dandelions, so that's good. So I think we're actually pretty somewhat okay at least on livestock but as far as our food is concerned though we could still probably use some help on that and that'll get better whenever we start finally harvesting some of these uh, harvesting some of the rice and stuff and plus two once I actually get some hunting going so that's kind of where we are right now I was going to spend this episode continuing the work on the second ring or actually that's probably I guess technically the third ring and I want to really try to get that done so that I can start expanding outward with the living spaces um, in here and I'm not I'm still not completely certain how I'm gonna do that I know that through time I want to make this the throne room and I'm thinking maybe I can make these uh, various sections like workshop areas um, I just don't know yet I'm still trying to process all of that because we got to remember that we we need one thing that I want to do is have individual living spaces a kitchen um, and the storage stuff and if I have to I can retrofit certain kinds of storage buildings and stuff out here in various locations so I'm not really super worried about that right now. But right now I just need to focus on getting this extra ring out here done. So let's get started on that. That and I'll try to get some hunting going because my, my guys are... How are we looking on food? Well, I guess we're low, but we're not really necessarily hurting either. Let's see if we can find some things around here to hunt. Newton, be careful, please. What's he doing? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. I forgot that I told him to, or told all of them to hunt these guys. At least I think I did. Didn't I? Oh, I guess I told, told him to get the one, but not those others. got a lot of Is that what that is? Uh, 
it's, it's frustrating. Can I maybe make a bridge and then build on that? follow the pattern because that needs to be a two and then we've got the next two and then another two So far, oh, actually, might have an issue here. Let's uh. So that means then, got this big honking thing here to make. I don't remember how much that is. I think it's like 131 or, or 31. Okay. Two one two one one.
then there's the tons of those ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so two, and then seven ones. Was that supposed to be a two right there? So anyway, zone. Two, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go. Kind of thinking maybe I'll. Bridge in there in a, here in a second. It's kind of stupid not to act. I mean, might as well just do it now and get it over with. Because if I don't, I'll be irritated. there for a second that I might have screwed something up. Okay, so now... Okay. Bam. 
Once those are built, I'll build the walls on them. So I don't have any issues doing that. I don't think I should be because I, I've been able to do that in other areas. I was wondering why she was moving so slow, but it kind of dawned on me that I, she had some food poisoning a while back. We're getting there, man. It seems like the, the sound is a little low. Let me, uh... I don't know if I did something stupid to change that or not. Yesterday, before I made my video from earlier, I had some video issues, or not video issues, uh, recording issues that I had to mess around with the OSB for. So I don't know if I did something to muck that up or not. Okay, so what's going on here? Alright. 
So we've got some a couple yaks now. That's good. They're both male and female. Uh, female. And a male. Yes. Alright. So let's go ahead and name this Mr. Yak. And this one. Mr. Yak or Mrs. Yak. The reason I do that, in case you're curious, is because whenever I start getting myself established and stable with raising animals and stuff of, of, of each species, whenever I go to sell animals, I'll know never to sell the ones that are prefixed with Mr. or Mrs. Because those are kind of like my, my cedars. really really love to tame these but I'm a little worried that if I try to do that right now I might wind up getting some of them in trouble because Gabs I think Gabs is my best trainer if I'm not mistaken uh, animals eight animals six yeah so I usually don't feel comfortable trying to tra tame those uh, until that's somewhere around ten <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily true, or, or in, I don't know if that's necessarily what I need to do to be able to train those or tame those. But I don't, I don't think I want to try to start doing that until they're about ten. Okay, you're silver. Bad on the crops. It would be a little bit better, but it's not going to be bad. I'm trying to think, though, how I want to structure everything. Yak is Preggers. <clears throat> At some point, we really got to start worrying about defenses. Come close to harvesting. Yes, we got another yak. I wonder which one is harder to tame, bison or the buffalo? Is that maybe what that is? My curiosity, what's a yak? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Excuse me. I'll just kind of roll with things for now. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make one more final ring around here, and inside that ring, I'm going to move my crops out there. 
gonna keep the livestock in here with 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 a few buildings and stuff because that way I'll kind of be able to dual purpose this ring out here and then in here and further in will be everything related to the stuff that the colonists need to do workshops you know li living spaces that kind of thing and I might through time I might wind up having to throw a few other things out here in this this ring as well but I'm going to try to limit that if I can I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to pause this real quick and open up Facebook or not forgive me not Facebook Firefox duh and let me see if I can get my Uh, gaming circle grid calculator. By the way, if any of you guys are interested in knowing what I'm using here, it's it's called Pixel Art Circle Generator. It's, it's a website, I guess, gamers gamergeeks.net. You basically type in the dimensions of the grid that you're wanting to mess with, and it kind of calculates it for you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually... Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to make two more rings. I'm going to make one more out here, and then the final one, which will be the furthest out. That'll be the one that'll have the crops. This one in here, though, is going to be the, the one that I'm going to install my defenses in. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I use uranium slug turrets, they should have enough uh, reach, I think... I haven't looked up their specs or anything like that, but I'm assuming that they'll, if I install the line, like, a few blocks out from this wall, it, I'm betting it has enough reach to reach in here if I ever wind up having enemies somehow finding ways into here. Let's start doing that here. Uh, you know what? I think what I'm going to do... Get rid of all this. So I can have a clean slate. Okay. There we go. Okay, so from the door. thing here. Calculator. One. Okay. Bear with me. I'm trying to get this thing organized. One thing about the one thing about the calculator thing that I don't like is the fact that you can't really it doesn't really look like you can move around on it. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. I think I've got enough though to do what I need to do, I think. Okay, so let me see where I am on this. So I've got one, two, three, four. Fifteen, 
Six plus seven, eight, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 35, real quick one more time just because if I screw this up it's gonna be it'd be hell to repair so this calculator thingy <clears throat> this website or whatever that I'm using it's kind of a pain in the rear to use because it doesn't really have like a basic zoom one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay. Helps on it. Okay. Okay, so 35 minus 1, 34 divided by 2, 17. So that's basically where we're going to start off on that side. And... Do the zone thing. It's right here. explains it okay now I'm beginning to understand so you can screw up the freaking things which is kind of funny because I thought last night I had tried this and it was still moving maybe I must have missed it whenever it finally stopped okay we're gonna have to do something about that let's see what this is though first okay hospitality for a gatherer whoever leader of people of whatever is requesting a favor her friend whoever is interested in learning about other cultures she wants you to host her at blah blah blah, and she won't do any work, and none of this is really worth it. It might be one thing if I wound up with one of those, uh, what are they, the, the fuel generator thingies sometimes that you can sometimes get, but this is a joke. I'm not going to screw around with this. Close off. Okay, back to this. Um... What should we do here? I'm trying to think here, what's the best option? Should we make maybe some more solar panels somewhere? That wouldn't really give us continuous stuff though, power. I mean. I prefer 
where to make one. One more of these somewhere, but... I don't know how that's going to wind up affecting that. I guess we'll just have to see. That's not going to work. It's stinking crap. It's games of ads. from right here. though because then I'll be able to have the complete kind of you know, way out here close off that wall and convert all of this into something instead of there for home space man so we're gonna look a little dirty It's still going to be a hard run winter if we don't hurry up and get some more stuff planted. And harvest it too for that matter. Because it's already July, August, whatever, the, however you pronounce it.
once I get that built, then I'll be able to remove this one. Like this, and maybe make another one. Okay. So that's got stuff rotten away. It pisses me off. How is everybody on cooking? Because I want to make those survival things, or whatever they're called. Disturb sleep. Um, okay, anyway. Cooking. Five. Four. Three. Very good. Why isn't anybody cleaning? Let's have okay. get out here in a second. Try to get some of that. Otherwise, people are going to be getting food poisoning and all that crap. Uh, that goes. That's the reason those damn things were being built, made in the wall and everything else. Things are unfolding according to my design. Opportunity is coming soon for the following rituals. Dance party. Dance party. Remember, what's that? It's the first time I've ever seen that. Unless I could do that. That's cool. Ideology.
those out. Take that damn links out if I see that again. There it is. is that it? Yep, that's it. Being able to do that though is that's not something you want to take lightly. Because they can screw you up from the pickle. So let's go ahead and craft. We'll be okay. Damn things, man. I hate those things. They always give you a bad day if you don't deal with them. But when you do, they give you an even worse day sometimes. Mm -hmm. At least until you wind up having decent guns and stuff, which is something that I just don't have right now. Mm -hmm. 
We're getting there, though. As long as we stay ahead of this food stuff, we'll be okay. That's the thing that worries me more than anything right now. save. It's okay now. As he gets done tending to Mark, I'm going to have him Okay. Now, did that increase the sight? Yes. Alright, good. That's what I wanted. Now they can roll around in there. Yes, we got a muffalo! Way to go, Gabs! 
Look on. Mark's healed too. Looking good. We are looking good. It's a what? Female? bad, man. That? I need to harvest these, because that's easy pickings food. damn good if, if we can get all of these things tamed. Mm. I kind of think, though, let's uh, build some more of these spaces here. Hired. Desperate refugee named Henry is approaching. Henry claims to have lost his home in a recent attack. Henry begs you for permission to stay at Luminous Maximus for six days so he can rest and regroup. In return, he offers to work and fight for free during that time. If you make him happy, he might he might join. He may also reward you later for helping him, but there's no way to know his true intentions. This refugee is not part of any faction. If you wish, you can blah blah blah. Okay, you know what? I am gonna... Yeah, let's go ahead and take a gamble. I mean, this guy might have some problems, who knows, but... If we want to kick him out, we can. Okay, where is he? Let's check him out. Where's Henry? Okay, what, what's his issues? Fast walker. He's a little bit lazy. He's not really that great, fortunately. The best thing he's got going for him is melee. Everything else is just kind of subpar. So, does he have anything on him? He's got a steel knife. That's poor. Uh. Or nothing, I guess. You know, I kind of thought to myself when I was planning this out that I would make those into bags, those like sandbags. Because then, if you plant, if you or if you put the auto cannons or even or those slugs 
in between walls, will they be able to shoot over the walls? Because if they can't, then that means I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to have a one-way kind of perimeter defense outbound this way, and maybe come up with something in here in time. I don't know. We'll work on it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to build the actual walls. Got some tattered apparel. So we gotta get on, on that, I guess. Who's the best person to do that? Right, Gabs, right? Established that they don't even use kibble. I think we should probably stop doing that. We have to go and check that, man. Well, yeah, yeah, because the I'll tell you what, that kind of makes me think now. Because Mark, he does eat kibble. So I'm thinking maybe we should establish like a little feeding spot for Mark. It's gonna be kind of stupid, but for now, is that a, a stockpile zone? I can't remember what that is. Yeah, stockpile zone. So let's do this. Let's make stockpile zone right here. Uncheck everything. Only kibble. That's it. There. It's got more gas. Kicking ass on the taming. Think, right? Give her a chance to do that. 
because after she gets done doing that, I'm going to try to get her to make those speakers. That way we can hopefully do the whole... Yes. Mail. Yes. All right. Rock on. Um, I'm going to try to prioritize the... Uh, the uh, speakers. That way we can do the... Uh, the rituals and stuff. I guess we probably missed the one for this cycle or whatever. Future at least. All right. Good. Okay, Gab. So where is she? She's relaxing socially. Yeah, at least one. Let's get one done, and then you can relax. Turning out to be a too bad of a guy, man. Hopefully he'll stay. Self-tamed tortoise. No, sorry about you, but you see it. Freaking tortoise. the clothing situation. This always gets to be a pain in the ass in this game. Because if you don't have one person in there focusing on clothing, it blossoms into a, a ongoing problem, and it contributes to other aspects of the stuff that they deal with. So, let me see here. Gabs is the best person at that. So let's go ahead and... Take her off the plant cutting. Keep on crafting, obviously. So for the time being, let's just go ahead and keep her inside. Okay. Yes. I think Henry is incapable of 
shooting? Or is he just a zero? Can he... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I want him to have a ranged weapon. Despite the fact that he's better at melee. I, I, I mean... I see the worth in that, obviously. The thing, though, is that I never ever want my guys to have the melee if possible. I just don't like it, man. Good pants. Yes, man, we are doing awesome on cold pain for him. Come on. We're gonna have to keep an eye on stuff though, because that means that they're gonna wind up having more food to eat. To eat. I'm gonna need more food to eat. <laughs> Honestly, man, I'm kind of surprised we haven't been attacked yet. And I'm betting that might have something to do with the world. Because I set the world up to become sparse. Let's check things out on that real quick. Okay, so here's where we are. And the closest factions that are hostile it looks to be these guys. So maybe that might mean then that we... We don't really have a whole lot to worry about, which is obviously going to work in our favor. Can't even pronounce that. Kia Caspis? Is that how, that, how do you say that, I guess? Kia Caspis. Kova. And I heard that. his configuration here. Unchangeable, so we can't really do much about his outfit. Make those guys anything, though. That way they'll hopefully self-manage it. I don't want you guys eating lavish food. Simple. 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 The reason I'm big on that is because whenever you start dealing with drugs in this game, excuse me, um, it causes a lot of problems. Especially whenever they create an addiction. Food. Definitely looking better. Still got some room for improvement though. 
The good news though is that we're finally beginning to get some hay. Um, okay, so let's make sure that we've got that configured. So here's the thing. Hay, yes, okay. I'll go ahead and leave that like that. And I think these store hay, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't. Okay, so whenever they start harvesting the hay, hopefully they'll take it down there. Um, and I believe they will. Let's see what Henry does here. I think he's trying to harvest it. Okay, this MFR is botching everything, it seems like. Well, he's not botching everything. Yep, there goes Mark. It's alright. Good. Not doing too shabby, man. Little Marcus. I didn't realize Henry's a Neanderthal. That explains the melee. Okay, well. I don't know how to deal with him if he's not really willing for. Buddy, Gotta make sure that we've got the power we need. There we go. Okay. So got one more. There we go. All right. Next thing up is going to be this guy. She's gonna hurt. 
as he gets done dealing with it. Okay. So I do that. Prioritize that. There we go. Got a little bit of a bridge on its way. First. Well, actually, in general, we gotta do that. Because that's actually water. Right. Glad, glad to see Gab's cleaning up. It's getting kind of skanky in here. get into the business of slaving or slavery. I don't, I don't really have anything else that I really need. So now fall has begun. Tell me I can trade with these effers. It's not. I'm trying to 
click on them, man. I'm not seeing anything. Yes. All right, here we go. Something good. Let's see what we got here. Somebody come over here with like a, you know, some assault rifles or something. Because that would be something to start selling some stuff for. So I just don't see anything else on here really that's worth messing with. Alright, well, it was worth a shot, I guess. As always, Gabs is our most awesome colonist. Where's everybody else? Where's Gabs? Okay, good. He's gonna make a mess. Goody, 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 goody. Prisoner being held by whatever has managed to steal a radio and call you. Whoever is being held at a camp, rescue her and she will join your colony. She is a 41 year old geologist. He says there's an unknown threat. If you miss this opportunity, blah blah blah. Where's the prisoner camp? That's right by us. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try this. We could use the extra hand here. So let's go ahead and save. Yeah. 
two days worth of travel. <laughs> Think this through here while I position myself in my chair. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, take the donkey. Take two yaks. Wait, what's this? Forget. Uh, this one. And this one. I'll take take three actually. And I don't think I'm gonna take Mark though. I think I'm gonna leave him behind. You know what? Hold on a second. Cancel this. I don't want to do that yet, and the reason I don't is because I want to make sure that we first have some bed rolls. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Is that something I can do on here? Is that something that... I'm going to have to think this over. Because I don't want to go on a big long trip like that without being fully prepared. And I know that if they start sleeping on the floor, they'll have issues and stuff. So I, I, think, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. It's getting kind of late on my end, and I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. But when I come back, I'll reconsider that that prisoner thing and continue on with what I'm trying to do here with some of the plants and stuff. It's kind of making me wonder if I should leave at least one person here so that they can, they can continue working on stuff like that. Decisions, deci decisions, man. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's kind of tedious with some of the wall building and, cr and crud like that, but it's all, it's all going to wind up leading to something pretty awesome. So, until next time, guys, have a good one.